This web sex before. Now I got a magical cup. Guess I'ma have this hat trick flow forever. They ask me why I drink Henny and rap. I'm like liquor and balls. Nigga, that shit go together. Truthfully, I don't give a shit about this battle. Sounds stupid, but true. I don't care about this battle so much. Nigga, I'm rooting for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? For tuning in right now to another episode of Daily Discussion. Yo, Twan, what's up, boy? I'm back again, as you see. Of course, of course. But today we have a very, very special guest in the building. That's a fact. He's someone very special for anyone who loves rap. Battle, Battle rap. rap, specifically. For real. Like, he's top five of my list in URL. Definitely. I don't even have to think about that. For real, don't even have to think about it. But, um, my boy Goods right here. Yeah, what's up, man? How are you? How's everything? Finally man? made it here, man. Finally. Real, I mean, it's a little trip, God. but yeah, we got yeah. here. This is kind of crazy coming up here, man. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'm in a different, different field right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they give you an address to take you to Queens, and you got yeah, to make bro. it to Queens. <laughs> for real, for real. That's my apologies, but Google Maps need to fix yeah, what's going on that. because I'm tired for of this. Real. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. That don't make no sense, bro. <laughs> so how did um battle rap? When did you start actually battle rap? Um, on camera, or off camera. I want to go off camera. Let's, let's go off camera. Yeah, let's off start. camera. I made mean, was like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, just, I more like kind of bumped into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then um, when you when when you come up on the streets and people rapping, you're gonna get you're gonna have to battle one way or another anyway. Mm -hmm. Because right. you're gonna have if, if y'all my crew right here, right. and I'm not there, y'all run into he, he rapping. That's his crew. Y'all run into them. Y'all gonna start talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Smack back and forth to each other. So then y'all gonna be the amp the battle without me or or the other kid even knowing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or if if you have um let's say kids is just rapping and you step in there and you start rapping now, it forms a cipher. Mm -hmm. Ciphers with everybody rapping. Somebody's gonna feel away and wind up rapping at you. Mm -hmm. if that's just how it goes. So <laughs> it's just it's, it's it's like mandatory. Like you're, you're gonna get in the battle, period. That's a fact. That's you know what I'm saying? So since I was like 13, 14, like I've been doing it. Mm. Now, did you have to write or did you have to like take time to hone your craft or it was like natural feet? Well, back back then, we used to walk around with like, I used to walk around with like 30, 40 raps, remember? Mm -hmm. Because wow. we was prone for it. Like we knew if we go over here, there's a, there's a possibility we might get into a battle. Mm -hmm. Might start battling somebody. And back then it was harder because you had to win the battle and out rap the person. Mm -hmm. So you could have been winning the battle every round. That could have had ten rounds. I went back and forth, back and forth for ten times, mm -hmm. and you could have been killing them. If he had two more raps than you, and you ran out, you so, lost. Yeah, wow. So you had to win the battle and out rap him. You could have been killing them, and then if you would have not had two raps more than him, and he had two, and he went twice without you, then you would have lost. Ooh, that's, that's crazy, because it, it's not the same anymore. No, it's not. You have your time limits, and, you know, some people some people may have to been written for, and you don't know it now. It's, it's commercialized. I mean, you got, it's like a big show now. You got, you know when you're battling, you know who you're battling. Um, you know how long you got. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's... I mean, it's just more put together now. Before it was more spare of the moment. Mm. And this was, if I'm not correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is in the Bronx. Yeah, this was all over though. Mm. This was, um, this was, um, like, I used to go to Harlem. We used to, I used to battle him. I, I saw I met Rex. I battled Rex mm -hmm. wow. in Harlem. Just me, him, my man Bill, rest in peace, and one of his mans. Mm -hmm. And we just battled. It was only us four there. Um, so, yeah, just traveling around, it starts from your hood or where you from, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then when your name got there, then you start, you know, traveling around locally. Right. You know, now it's more worldwide, like we, you know, yeah. I've been all over yeah. for Battle Rap, but then it was locally, like, you know, we were just mainly staying in Bronx, Harlem, maybe the mm -hmm. five bar, maybe go to Queens, mm -hmm. or, you know, Brooklyn, or something like that. But. How did you and Charlie Clips come around? When did you? Um, actually, me and Clips met when I, when I was doing Lions then. Okay. Um, 
I battled in Lions, then um me, I battled Ice, I battled Head Ice first. A lot of people don't know that I battled Head Ice. That's my first battle on camera. Mm. Okay. Then I battled K Shine. And by then I already had a buzz. So Clips had chilled from battle right he was battling on the streets mm -hmm. so he had chilled from that for a little while and at that i said when i'm walk, i'm on his bikes to go hang on his block because him and lux is from like um he's from down a block from lux but then he had wound up moving to lux block mm. okay so i when i first started doing i used to hang on lux block and all mm. so one day i came from the store and i'm walking and i saw i seen clips and he was like yo you got some shit you something like you nice yo you got some shit da -da -da. Whatever, the man start talking from there and all that, and then blah, blah, blah. They told me, like, yo, he nice too, he rap and shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk about clips. I ain't even know clips rap. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then that was it. We was cool ever since then. And then, um, his first joint when he battled Tay Rock, so that's when I, like, kind of. That's when, but that's the, when things got serious. You know what that's. the crazy, you know, but <laughs> let, me tell, let, me, let me tell you the crazy thing. My man Bill, rest in peace, used to tell me about clips. Years before that, and he used to tell clips about me years before that. That's wow. Cool. So when we met, you know, we our mutual friend was Bill. We brought it up like, oh, Bill, you should tell me about you like that, like that. So mm -hmm. that, that's how that went, yeah. Oh, wow. That's dope. So, yeah. That's, that's definitely, dope. Yeah. That's definitely dope. Like, and I, I, I see your videos, and I see, like, your, your battle. I mean, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, this, this guy is nice, like. Appreciate that's it. A I'm, fact. Not, I'm not even just saying that. That's yeah, yeah, hard. Like, no, that. That's a fact. Like not, real, real. like, not only are you mm -hmm. nice at what you do, but you represent the Bronx and all that stuff. Yeah. But I feel like your style is, is something I like a lot. Because it's not like how people, like, they got to paint a picture and then you got to put things yeah. together and then it's boom. I feel like you're like, Mine's here, here, more straightforward. Here. And, and let me tell you something. People don't understand. It's actually harder. Like, like you said, a lot of the battle rappers, you listen to them, they don't know how to get straight to the point and make it hot. Mm. That's hard. That's not yeah. easy to get straight to the point and make it hot. Because mm. a lot of people got to <clears throat> tell this wide mm -hmm. story to mm. get to their one little piece. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't just tell what they got to tell and get straight to it. It is it, harder to do that. And I feel like that's maybe something I perfected definitely. on, you know, doing it. I definitely think you perfected mm. that. Because that's, I'm that's tired right. of feeling, like I'm not trying to say names, but like there's people like maybe disaster, like, They'll give you this yeah. crazy thing, and I'm just like, now I gotta pull all this stuff together, nah, you and then you, <laughs> and then you give me the bar, and I'm like, oh, you know, that was hot, but bro, come on, just give me what I, I, I want to yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn how to get straight to your shit. Bro. I mean, I love him. He's fucking nice, but just get to the point, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's all I want to get. Like, and I'll be watching it, and I'm like, they be going, they like, they be you going. guys be going personal, like, and then it's just like after, then y'all be all cool, like y'all just be like, oh, okay, like, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, is um. The, and the thing, the personal thing with me, that that's not a, that's not my type of style. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that's nice with that, getting personal. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> you gotta understand, it's a business. At the end of the day, we get paid good money to go up there and do that. And we all knew each other for at least eight years, eight years or more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just from doing it, from being around each other. So ain't nobody really no enemies unless they, you know, they enemies from something else. But as far as like in the battle rap world, we all knew each other for a very long time. So. Mm -hmm. Does it ever get sometimes maybe too personal to where you do want to swing but you don't? Um, well, not for me. I mean, I, they, when I battle people, they don't. I don't really got too much personal stuff to say about me. I really keep don't. it that way. I keep, like, I keep my personal business out of battle rap, and makes sense. you got to carry yourself a certain way. I don't really got too much stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Um, my only thing that you know that goes in my contract they can't talk about is my daughter. And I don't which care is, about nothing else. Which is, I, I believe that's how yeah. it should be, like family yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I mean, but some, you know, some rappers, they don't, no, they don't care. You know, that's just they shit. Oh, but I know. just me, it's, it's just different. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like, my daughter's 11 years old. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she's with me all the time. She, Does she follow it, too? Or you kind of, like, cape her away? Nah, from? I can't. She knows. Yeah. She, when I battled T-Top, she was, came to me on my part. She was saying the parts. Wow. I walked in the room and she was watching it. I mean, I can't tell her. So she's gonna she's gonna sneak and watch it if I tell her don't you know. That's so, true. You know, yeah, kids always tell you what you know. What I'm saying you tell them not to do something, they do it anyway. And then they go so yeah. So I let, I let her watch it, but I, I think it's cool that she's into you know something I do. So I, I let her watch it and all that. That's crazy because I just like my son was born last Monday, and you know I always want to ask you this question because I know you're a father as well and you have great experience with it. So and you just battling <coughs> you know father and battle rap because that's your passion. And I was wondering, I was just, I keep thinking about this, like, how I can balance my passion with my son, you know what I'm saying? 
and just seeing you, you know, you know, bring your daughter and just, you know, don't have no closed doors or no secrets, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like that's how you got to do it. It's hard to, um, because if you don't, whatever you don't allow them to do, they're going to sneak and do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep, you know, um, I try to keep a, a door halfway open where you could come, like my daughter could come talk to me about real stuff and I won't be, you know, her father. She could talk to me as a friend sometime and then if I need to be a father and I could be a father, you just gotta find a way to keep that door open like that. You know, so she to some point she'll feel more comfortable talking to me. She might feel more comfortable talking to me about boys than her mother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. we got that type of relationship, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I try not to be too strict, but mm-hmm. then again, I try not to be too lenient either, so you just gotta find that medium. That's, that's all it is. That's a fact. That's true though. That's a fact, yo, because like, that's, that's what keeps going in my mind, like just, you know, the balance of being a father and just my passion, but, you know, like... It's time though. Like, look, you see what I'm doing? I got my daughter with me now. Yeah. I, was supposed to, I was supposed to take her somewhere and I said, you want to come with me, you know, to do this thing? She's like, yeah, so bring her with me. I try to bring her with me so she can see what I do and, mm. you know what I'm saying? And that, that's, that also builds the love and the bond mm-hmm. right? and all that, you know what I'm saying? That's so, so. That's, that's great it. though, you know what I'm saying? Great rapper, great father, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You hitting all the bases that you got to hit. Yeah. Uh, so, oh. you know. who, who actually inspired you to get into, like, rap in general? Actually, it wasn't even... <laughs> It wasn't even like nobody um that was in the industry. It was like um I say this in a, in a lot of interviews. My man D Bug is somebody that um I grew up listening to, mm-hmm. and he he's uh, that's my man. He was older than me then. He's still older than me, but like I was younger, he was older, and he was like like crazy nice and rap. And they used to stand in the staircase in my building. It used to be him. Um, there's a lot of straw. I don't know where the straws from. Um, straw from um he used to be down with D Block for a minute. Team Aulis, um, him, um, it was a couple of them, man. They, they used to stand in, my, in a staircase and just rap. Mm-hmm. I used to walk by young and just listen, like, damn, I wanna, I wanna rap in a staircase too. So one point, I remember um, I got a little older, and Straw heard me rap. And then he knocked on, he knocked on my door one day. Then he wanted somebody else to hear me rap. And then they was, and then he just invited, when they invited me to staircase, I was young. He wanted me to spit it for everybody, but mm-hmm. they didn't know I could rap. Mm-hmm. And I just spit it, and they was like. Like, they couldn't believe it. Like, I knew how to rap. Like, I was nice at that age. And then they start messing with me from there. That's when they start taking me places, putting me on certain shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. That's dope, though. Because, as you know, me and, me and Ant, like, we always, like, have these arguments with, like, rap in general. Because I love I love music, and I love, like, rap in general. I love the culture. Yeah. And just listen, And just looking at battle rap is just, like, I love it. I love, I love it. it too. I mean, I feel like battle rap's like the purest form, okay. in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's raw. It's raw. It's like you, like I'm saying, you can say what you want, do what you want to a certain extent, and you gotta take it. And then at the end, you know, handshake, hug. You yeah, know, that's the only thing that's really still from the essence of when it started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and I, um, it, it, it grew, it's like crazy big now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It grew so big <clears throat> to the point where we we could sell out like. So like we selling out Webster Hall and stuff like that, mm-hmm. doing all that. That we're you know a rapper dude, you know what I'm saying? We doing mm-hmm. the same thing. So I know it's hitting everywhere. You know you not only got your King of the Dog, you got mm-hmm. you, you got, a, you got, got a bunch don't of flop like it's literally like, wow. everywhere. Mm-hmm. But it's cool because I like the fact that you know everyone flies around if they can right to right. battle you know UK whatever the case yeah, may be. Yeah, which like is Canada. dope. You get to see the world. You, you That's know, dope. Who would ever thought you would get to see the world for battle rap? Exactly. Right. Cause people, a lot of people like focused on mainstream, like and it may, yeah. a lot of people just focus on mainstream and just like sometimes you just want to hear something different other than mainstream, right. like right. you know, like especially like rap that's coming out now is just like you know it's not as raw as it used to be. It's so not. when you hear something like that and you hear battle rap, it's just like it's a huge difference because it cleans it cleans your mentality. Right, because you're tired of listening to all the same. Try to listen to all the yeah, the same shit that's going on. All the mumble rap and stuff. Yeah. Like I can't. Like sometimes, sometimes I can't take it. Yeah, like, I don't. I, I, I don't, even, I don't understand it. I don't listen to a lot of. You know, what I'm saying? there's some stuff I like. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at one point I was like, I can't listen to shit at all. But then, I guess this is where hip hop went. I mean, if it stayed the same, it, it wouldn't probably progress. So I, I, I guess 
this is where it's at now. It's like, you know, you got to defer on what you like and what you don't. I mean, I understand everything has to evolve. You know, it's just how right. life works, but... I'm not in really into the, this new, but you know, I mean... I mean, like, I'm not going to say I'm into it, but I have to listen to it right. to be up to date. I respect and it. I respect it, but sometimes it's torture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I got to sit there and listen to it. I'm like, oh, Well, God. it's different, different eras, you know. Yeah. I'm not from that era, so this is a... No ever. You know, it's funny, I was talking about it too, and like, you know what I'm saying, I was born in 93, so I really didn't listen to music like 2000, so mm -hmm. the golden era, I didn't, I wasn't there. Right. So the only thing I could do is study it. That's the only thing that's right, left. Right, 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 right. And it takes time, because think about it, there's dozens and hundreds and thousands and millions of tracks from like all these old rappers, and even old battle rappers, sometimes they put out songs. <clears throat> and it's just hard to like collect it yeah. all. You know what's crazy? That we speak of like back then and all that. Yesterday, Big Daddy Kane just shot him out on his face. I seen that. Did you show it? Yeah, I definitely yeah. seen that. Wow. Big that word. So that that was big, you know what I'm that's saying? Dope. And he did it without me even knowing. He just That's the OG. Put up a joint. That is an OG yeah, right there. That's, that's one of the best uh cosigns you could get. For real. Man, Period, rock yeah. him. You know, like anyone like that. Anybody like, like that. <laughs> on KRS one, you can oh, get yeah, those cosigns, right? Like. Yeah. How you feel like be, like from the Bronx and now you was in the BT Cypher, you are uh, L and you know you're like the Bronx. We have a lot of we have artists. Don't get me wrong, but battle rap we barely. Right, right. I feel, yeah, barely. I agree with that. And it's like you come from the Bronx, and you like. I feel like you're like the only OG maybe from the Bronx that's holding it. Yeah, up they, to a certain yeah, level. Yeah, because even people that came in from the Bronx, they uh, they had a run like Rich Dollars had a run for a little while, and then little while faded away. Yeah, then mm -hmm. um, it was another kid, um, the light skin kid. Can't think of his name right now from Cyprus. Can't think of it. He had a little run, and he had a he was having a good run, and then they caught him stealing raps. Mm. So it's like every time somebody comes, like nobody from the Bronx came in, and, and said, you got Chess right now. Chess had his he was having a run too. Chess, yeah. But then Definitely now, chess. but now he's kind of. I mean, I'm sorry. I he, felt like Chess was overrated. He's. I hear you, but he yeah, he was having his run. He he definitely had and his he run. Kinda, now he's kind of declining because he is on it's him. He's choking. He's choking his last three battles. It's not that's that he's not, not nice. He's uh, when he went against Tay Rock, that mm. put him over. He was about to. Yeah, everyone and, was saying he and, was <clears throat> top tier off that. And then he Flop. start choking. Then that's on you. I don't got nothing to do with nobody else. So you know, I'm, I'm happy to be. Um, I take everything serious. I do. So I can't get up there and just. I have turned down money not to take a battle because I knew I wasn't going to get my all. I, plenty of times I turned down money. It'd be good money. People mm -hmm. look at a couple of thousand. People look at me, I'm crazy. But if I'm not going to get my all, then I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to just do it for the money. So that's Yeah, right. that's what's up. Like, you're a, hum like you're, you're a humble guy for real. Because like, a lot of people, like especially that have this much built up for them, mm -hmm. they'll be like, oh, like, you know, they, they, they're not going to turn it down. Even if it's like, the littlest thing they're gonna be like, oh, you paying me so and so yeah, for this? Yeah, pay me this. Give oh, me yeah, that. Oh yeah, I'm definitely coming. And yeah. they don't put their own to it. They just be like, all right, I'm just gonna collect this check and I'm gonna get it out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, for real, like, and let me ask you a question. You are you like onto mainstream rap, or are you just like you just you know underground and battle? No, no, I'm into I'm into the mainstream stuff and all that. Um, I got a couple of friends that's mainstream rappers like Kiss. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Kiss is my man. Um. I fuck with Drake. Drake, my man too. You know what I'm saying? Hold that the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but it's to the point where I could say they my man like Drake. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Drake, but that don't mean Drake would uh Drake fuck with me as a battler. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, he would take me and you know he could put me in a position. He could put me in a different position than I'm in. He haven't did it or you know what I'm saying? So I fuck I fuck with him to to a certain point. Kiss is my my man. I I speak to Kiss on the phone here yeah, and all mm -hmm. that. So, um, but so I I stay into the mainstream. You know, so what's going on? Do you expect the new rappers that's coming up? Not a lot of them. Like <clears throat> I saw, uh, what's the kid? And I probably get killed for this. What's the kid with the funny, colorful hair that oh, just? Man. Oh. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going. Uh, so uh, I believe six, it's nine. oh six nine. I oh. thought you were about the other one <laughs> oh, with the same thing with the rainbow hair. There's little oh. pump and six See, nine. you like you like six nine. He I likes little pump nine. and six nine. See, this is this is my thing. I can't I can't get with respect him. I don't. I don't. You gotta you gotta respect it. I don't. Where? I don't either. <laughs> where? 
But I, 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 I wouldn't. But I'm glad you saying that because. I, don't, I wouldn't want you to change your perception because of mine. Of course. Oh, no. We but always... I can't respect a dude that got long, colorful hair talking about... And he not, I'm into rap. I'm into music. I'm mm. into you saying something. Mm. My daughter might be out there bugging. You don't like 6 9 She might. <laughs> she, might <laughs> she might know. She, yeah. Not for me. Yeah. Well, you know why? Because it takes time for me to do this. Yeah. I, have, I have to write this and make sense. Mm. I can't just go blah, 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 blah. So maybe I don't respect that stuff. Like, oh, all right, Lil Pump. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know who Lil Pump is. You don't want to know, but you probably wow. heard it on the radio. I don't want to know it because it's his radio. name. You probably heard it wow. on the radio. His name is Lil Pump. I'm good. So I basically, to, to make a extremely long story short, usually I ask people their top fives now. I granted everyone has their own top five. Everyone has their own opinion. I can't knock it. Mm. But this man over here likes to put that so-called man Lil Pump on there. He only has one song. Right now, now to each their own, I get it. Right now. But this is ridiculous. But this is the era. <laughs> He's from this era. But so am I. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from, I was born in 93. You're from this era. Yeah. yeah. But hold on. Let me, let me, let me adjust my... Let me, okay, go, go, go. Let me do, do, like, you know, prove my case. You feel me? Okay, go ahead. So, I respect the new rappers. Okay. Because <laughs> of their art and creativity. Okay. Of course we care about lyrics. Of course we, we I mean that's what I care, care about. about lyrics. Lyrics. Yeah. But you also gotta respect the the rappers that's born and not not in that era. Cause they, they, they grew up like when oh like let me see, like when probably Hurricane Chris came out. Oh god. Soldier Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to say, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? So they have those type of people to look up and just be like, All right, I could make a song like this. But and what, you gotta respect it. But what what I don't understand is how somebody like the kid six nine get so big. I, it, it's not because of his music or or what he's saying. It's because of the image. That's how people get big. True. Why think and everybody I got agree. red dreads and blonde? You gotta have this side brown, this side pink. They getting big because of that. They're not getting big because of they're making good musical stuff. They saying to me, that's how I feel. And I agree because if you take his point, six nine looks like Lil Pump. Little Uzi got that crazy thing going oh, on. Every everybody you name. Yachty got some everybody weird thing going you name. on. But you gotta respect. And these are all the people that are on top right now that look different. Point. Hold on, can I say something? Go ahead. I, I, and you might you might think I'm outrageous for this. No, no, I'm not. But I respect Drake, oh, but God. I think he's overrated, man. Drake is not and, and overrated. Drake is the I, man. Drake is period. the sixth god for a reason. I think he's I'm, I think I'm Drake a, is the man. And no matter what, no matter what you said. And, 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 yo, listen. They pulled this card about the whole writing thing, and mm -hmm. I'm against that. You know what I'm saying? But, of course. I, I'm, but, I'm totally against but, that. But, but listen, no. In the same breath, <clears throat> what I understand is this. Drake is not an artist no more. Drake is a brand. He's a mobile. He don't have time to be an artist. Mm -hmm. So... I see him taking stuff from people and just doing it because once whatever Drake touches is gold, platinum. Bro, he it's said just, it. I got the Midas touch. Whatever he touches, he whatever he touches. Gold. He could come sit in here and wink at your camera. It's gold. Go it's platinum. A million views. <laughs> some like. people, some everybody don't have that. It's so true. he's he he got that. He's he's there already. So yeah. <laughs> so I, what happens I is. Mean, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bro, I, I, I agree with you saying. One, I agree with you saying. But on the other hand, you I, like I, I I just don't see why Drake, Drake over it. You know you know why? Because I feel like that you have people out there that put him over legends. And once you touch once you touch that that type of I, I like right Drake now, is a okay, legend. okay, Drake is top five. No, I think Drake is, is a legend. No, legend. He's, he's a legend. I, I, I can't, he's I can't, legend. I can't respect it. I can't Drake respect is a legend. Drake, Drake is a legend. legend. You can't. When Drake, listen, when, when Drake leave out the game, he's going to be a legend. It's, it's automatic. He's already Guaranteed. Guaranteed. No. no. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I'm not even going to no. think about it. He did too much already. He did. Bro, but he is on a 10-year streak of fire. I can't, I can't put him in the in the discussion with Tupac. I can't put him in the discussion with with Hov even. I can't. Why not? I can. I can't. Can't. Can you this, put him in listen, the hold on. For this gener, you you said it yourself. You talk about generations. For this generation, why can't you put? You said time change. You said all this. <laughs> so for this generation, why can't you put him in 
<laughs> a le- as being a legend. Now you going from with Biggie, Tupac back yeah, then. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I okay, can't cool. All right. Next okay, cool. But that that was yeah. for that generation. We're talking about for this generation. All these all these colorful hair, fingernail painting niggas. We talk about that. No respect. But hold on. But Drake. But Drake is like he raps. All right. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. Take care. But you like little Bob. Take care. But hold on, hold on. Take care. Fire. Okay. <laughs> Take care is okay. No, it's fire. Next. Come on. Take fire. care is okay. I say Drake's best work was nothing was the same. And, and that's that a guaranteed was classic. It. And that was it. What do you and, mean? I, I, and I'll put more life into it. But wait, nothing, that, wait, wait, wait. What, what about, um, what about what? What about, um, what's the one? Uh, y'all even know the one? So uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Fire. Crazy. Fire. Yo, you could put, uh, this is my thing. No. Drake got too much hits. The album with Future. Which one was but that? I can't too remember. Much that. Hits. Fire. But, all right, so let me ask you a question. What a time to be alive. So you're telling me that Future Future and Drake, they didn't, they didn't basically not, not doing the same thing so what that you like so-and-so was doing? All right, so this one, all right. That one of the mumble rappers is doing? Let me, just, because let, me, let me just ask you this. What you like about Lil Bop? It's Lil Pump. Lil Pump. Lil Garbage. I like his creativity. Where? He drove, what was it, a Lamborghini yo, while yo, drinking lean. He's, he's, he's top five I, right now in the Billboard oh, well, for a song wait, that's so less than two minutes. And no one ever did that since 1975. But Drake broke Michael Jackson's record, then broke his record and Michael Jackson's record again. <laughs> it, it, because, of who does, who, because of his fan base. Because of his fan base. And you have a lot of people what that listen to again, Drake. Because like you said, Lope. but hold on, like you said. I'm trying to get his name, Lope. I can't, I keep but like, but like, I but, oh, oh. You know what a little pump is? You don't want to know. Oh, come on, man. I but, don't even hold on, hold on. But Drake... You, but, like little, you got to post a little pump in your room? Nah, I don't. Uh, I bet you this song your phone, though. I bet you this, so he look. I bet you this. I bet you you could leave your girl around little pump. You can't leave your girl around Drake. Listen. Legend, man. Uh, I had a talk with Drake. It was so funny. So I don't need a dime. I got my own money. Right. So kiss the same thing. Just see the plan out. Huh? They respect you more when you don't ask for handouts. Uh, yeah, since some niggas to get them such. I'm in Carmine's eating linguine with a duck. <laughs> a couple martinis to have a suck. Just waiting on Lamborghini to make a truck. truck. Yeah. yeah. Depending on my day, though. I snatch a chick, make a nigga.